way down in the black mountain hills of Dakota lived a young boy named Rocky Raccoon. One day this woman ran off with another guy, hit young Rocky in the eye. Rocky didn't like that, he said, I'm gonna get that boy. One day he walked in town and booked himself a room in the Lotus Saloon. Rocky Raccoon, ticked in the Rocky had come equipped with a gun to shoot off the lens of his rival. Friends, Eric Andreas, your guitar sage here. Today we're going to learn Rocky Raccoon by the Beatles. This is a super fun tune. Maybe one of my favorite uh, Beatles tunes ever. Maybe probably the favorite tune of mine ever by the Beatles. Love this one. Super easy to play uh, with the exception of the intro there that I did. It's literally the same eight bars over and over again. I'm going to show you the strumming rhythm. We're going to talk about the chords. I have a PDF for you, both in standard chord notation and then also um, in the um, National Number System. Both of those available for you for free, no sign up or anything, just click that link below. Now, if you need help with any of this strumming or any of these chords or anything like that, I also have a free course for you that we've had hundreds of thousands of folks go through that has absolutely changed their guitar lives. That's also available to you for free at that link below. All right, without further ado, let's get into this, okay? So now part of that course, um, I, I talk about the nine essential chords, and you'll hear me talk about this all the time, because if you know these nine essential chords, which are included in this song, you're going to, uh, you literally can play millions of songs, okay? The chords for this tune are A minor seven, D seven sus, D7, G7, C, and C slash B. Okay, now we're gonna add a little variation, a little pinky bit here, which is a motif that uh, that is carried throughout the tune. Okay, now we'll get into more detail with those actual chords, but let me talk about this strumming real quick because this specific strumming rhythm, also in the strumming rhythm bits that I give you in that course. Uh, this one is the one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four and, okay? With the ands being up and the, and the numbers being down, so it's gonna go like this. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four. And. With the one being, you're hitting the bass note of the chord, so if it's an A, A, form of a chord, then you hit the A as the bass note. If it's a G7, then you'll hit the G. So what you do is for that one, you, you make sure that you just hit that bass note. If you end up hitting another low string, that's okay too. It's rock and roll, it doesn't really matter as long as you're not playing it like um, this. With no dynamics, we want it to breathe. So more like. Right, I'm hitting that low note. If you hit a couple strings, it's okay. All right, now another thing I'm doing is I'm bringing my thumb over the top of the neck to mute that sixth string. Beginners will find this maybe a little bit more difficult, but in time, you'll be able to do it, especially if you follow the protocol that I teach in that course about curling those knuckles, then you can do both. You can bring that thumb over the top of the neck. Because really, for all the chords, with the exception of the G7, we're, we want that top string muted, okay? And so I'm doing that with a thumb. I think we've got all that covered. Now let's talk about the forms of these chords. Uh, we have an A minor seven, which is an A minor, but we lift our third finger up to reveal what's called a flatted seven interval. Uh, but we're also gonna put our pinky up here, and this is a little motif that the Beatles did for this, for this song. It's in there a lot. This, that pinky right there, that third fret of the high E string. So for our A minor seven, we got that. Now let me show you a little trick. And this is what I call finger inventory. A lot of people, they lift their fingers up and then they form the chord. They wonder why they can't get to their chord on time. It's because they're doing way more work than needs to be done, right? Let's be efficient here. We have this A minor seven. We'll notice that the D seven suspended chord is really, we just need to move one finger, this guy right here, down one string. Boop. 
That's it. If you practice that sort of thing, like literally that, as opposed to lifting all your fingers up and then putting them down again, that's a waste of time, bad energy. You don't want to do that. Let's move that one finger down. It makes this so much of an easier song to play, okay? So there's our A minor seven, our D seven sus, which is a, which is a suspended chord. We're gonna move that second finger down one string, just like that. And it's okay to play this low E string. I'm strumming all the strings, right? Except I've got that low E string muted. The A is in the, in the D chord here, so we can play it and it's not gonna be, it's not gonna sound weird, okay? So, and then we resolve that to a D7. Again, if you need any of these chords, they're in the course that I'm giving you for free. Uh, then we have a G7. Then we have a C, but this C chord, a standard C chord, we're gonna add that pinky to the third fret of the high E string again, little motif that's just following through the whole song. Then we have a, a slash chord. Some people call it an inversion, but technically for it to be an inversion, the bass note should be in the chord by name in a C chord, a C major chord is a C, E, G. There is no B in it, so it's not technically an inversion. Uh, it's more of just a, what we call a slash chord. So we have a C chord with that pinky up there, and then we have a C chord with a B in the bass, okay? So if, you'll, if you're looking at the chart that I'm looking at that I'm giving you for free, first link below, um, it says C slash B, and that means this is a C chord, but with a B in the bass. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this second finger, bump it up a string, and move this third finger back to where that other finger was. Take a little getting used to, but that is a C slash B. And we got our pinky up there, okay? Super fun chord to play. So. Okay, now let's put all this together, and we've got the same eight bar progression over and over again. So I have A minor seven for two, and again, the strumming rhythm is one, two, three, and four, and remember one, we're hitting the bass note as close as that we can, and the two is louder, it's emphasized. One, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four. Okay, so here's what it might sound like. I'm gonna do it a little bit slower here uh, from the top of the chord progression, not the top of the song, which has four bars of A minor seven as denoted in the chart. So here we go. A minor seven, A minor seven, D seven sus, D seven, G seven, two measures of G seven, and then C, C slash B. And then we just repeat that over and over again, a little bit slower. Now for that D7, what I'm noticing, sometimes I'll do things and I won't even notice that I do it, so I just noticed that I did. For the D7, I am bringing my thumb even more over the neck to mute that A. You don't have to. If you can do it, it's gonna make it sound a little better because you're gonna hear that, that D bass note really jump out. So from here. My friends, that is it. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, you know what to do, thumbs up. If you wanna see more of these videos, we're gonna be doing lots of Beatles this year. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Again, don't forget that very first link below will give you access to two PDFs that I'm giving you. One in standard, one in the Nashville number system. It's absolutely gonna help you a ton. Uh, download that for free, no sign up or anything like that. And also on that same page, I'm giving you access to my top 30 lessons that I'm giving you for free today. It's gonna to help you with all the stuff that we talked about today. Take advantage of it. Friends, as always, be kind to all beings. Do the right thing always. Practice your guitar, and I'll see you in the next video. Way down in the black mountain hills of Dakota lived a young boy named Rocky Lacuna. One day this woman ran off with another guy. Hit young Rocky in the eye. Rocky didn't like that. He said, I'm gonna get that boy.